mean. But I've tried to film this video two other times and they both end up being around 20 to 21, like 25 really, minutes long. And also right now I have a cold, which is why you might hear me sniffing, which I am so sorry for any headphone user. Because I, it keeps like, every time I open a page, it scrapes against the side of this sometimes. I am so sorry. Um, but I'm just gonna try to film it one last time. Maybe not try to go through quick, but avoid sounding disgusting since all of my sinuses are working against me. And avoid going like this, because I do this a lot apparently. Um, so yeah, this is a sketchbook that it took me half of a year to complete, of like a school year. Um, because I got it after midterms and then I finished it right around when summer began, like probably two days before. Um, my friend got this for me. It's pretty thick, so that's why it takes so long, but still. So I'm just gonna try to go through quickly. Another problem I have is framing and keeping things in frame. So there's that, sorry for my dog. Another reason that I wasn't able to post the first two is because I wasn't, there was such a minor iPhone error that made it so where if you try to turn it, like it was on its, like the video was on its side. It was one of those things, it's very annoying. So I'm just gonna get into it after, you know, a five minute introduction, whatever. This is Hermione, um, obviously it says Hermione Granger at the top, that's the first thing I thought of to draw. This is her Patronus, which is an otter, uh, her cat Crookshanks. I like these drawings, other than the fact that the nose is a little bit different than how I do them now, but I mean, they're okay. This is some concept, concept art because Rhonda's Quidditch, I thought like that would be a cute idea because I ship Hermione. Um, is another idea of like grabbing for potion bottles while making like a book levitate um all the books right here i honestly her bun looks pretty awesome i will say um this is from the river of time series this is gabriella and leah evangelia which i draw later on way better um this is from the Gallagher girl series it ended up smearing a lot to the next page like a lot so that's why it's all like blurred out which is you know frustrating because it's four full bodies and it took me a lot of time but Bex, Cammy, you know, Liz and Macy, so there's that. Um, I don't really like the drawing on the bottom, but um, this is Katniss Everdeen. I drew another one of her, and it was really, really good, but I can't find it. It was hanging around here for a while. Um, but this is like her in her natural state, which is like all beautified and girl and fiery. I'm so sorry for my voice again. This is from Girl Meets World, my second favorite show other than Riverdale. I love Girl Meets World. Um, contrary to every how everybody else sees it, these aren't her actual like leg length. It's the idea is that she's like pulled her knees up and they're like tucked in. But I'm the only person who can't see it with her legs looking just like really weird because everybody else does. So just like some quotes from the show, cute stuff. More Hermione Granger. This is based off of a reference. Um, trying different styles. Some names from one of my Wattpad stories. Uh, I did comics for like a day, um, so these are the two characters. If it feels like I'm going through this fast, it's because I'm trying because it took me 21 minutes last time and my voice is about done and I'm trying to film the other video right after this too. So this is some random character sketching. Um, this one ended up being the first sketch I drew of a character that I was from then on obsessed with throughout the year. And I do have a story for her that's going to go on Wattpad at some point, but I just need to like tweak some things out. It has like a good character cast, but I just don't have like the plot fully formed. Um, so yeah, and notice her braid is on the left because I end up drawing it on the right for some weird reason or a couple of like, I don't know, weeks throughout the book, but anyway. This is more random character sketching. I think I draw her again. Um, I think I know I draw her again really no significance this is from school um it's just venus again <laughs> like i said you're gonna see a lot of her she's like in here at least like 100 times it's crazy um like i said the girl with the rain hair from like two pages ago the other girl i redrew these are characters from my wattpad story lovelace academy okay so i was like um obsessed with selling stuff on redbubble for a while so that's what those are random sketches of I saw Wonder Woman and I was like, I'm gonna make myself a superhero. Um, and then when I was really into Vocaloid, I imagined this Vocaloid idol in my head and I wasn't talented enough to draw her. And I'm like, it's still not the style I had in my head, but she had like purple hair that was in a braid. She had a white hat and a green jacket. The colors got mixed up, so 
anyway I have a book that has a bunch of uh, clothing styles I was trying to random number generate and then draw which I hate all of those especially the top ones um, my first ever OC Skyla Venus again with the braid on the right Maylee my second OC that I made um, random 50 inspires an earring that was my favorite that I lost um, that one's pretty good. These are another character set. The plot has like a really good introduction and it's like a strong start, but the characters aren't that fully formed yet, so I'm gonna keep working on it. Um, random sketches for Lovelace. I don't think those are even characters. I was trying to draw different ethnicities, so I was trying to go for like a very classical Native American look, um, Polynesian ethnicity, but I can I, I'm working on it. This is from the Lies and Her Monsters. It's one of my favorite books. Um, I love Francesca Zappia. I love everything she writes. Let's be this again. The braid on the wrong side. I had a plan where I was going to animate my poetry and make it like, you know, an animation with using a pen display. So that's what that's from. I may actually do that. I have a poetry account. Um, okay, these are the same four characters again. I was trying to draw the same person looking the same in a row. Did not work. She's not cute. Random people's heads in geometry class. Um, some people that I sat with in biology that was based off of me. We had like, uh, Greek god names or maybe Roman god, don't at me. Um, so Mania, Venus, Poseidon, and Aries, that's what that was from. And I write a lot, if you can't tell. Um, so I have some random stuff in here that doesn't make any sense without context, like, um, so he thinks he's playing both sides, but really we are both sides. And when I talk to myself, something else answers. I swear that I am okay. I was trying, I realized I was doing a lot of this, like where they're both looking to the left, like that, when I was drawing. So I was trying to force them to look straight ahead and then like to the side. But I realized that for this one, she got progressively older, which is very weird. Um, and then I figured I could probably do it with Venus since I draw her so much, but you know. Turned out okay. Full body, which is a very rare thing for me. I was trying to do some like action poses. Um, so Venus has this thing where because um, it's like complicated, but she like lived in a cave um, because that's like what her tribe does. And it's obviously dark and she was like a late bloomer. So she can't open her, her right eye, um, the left here in direct sunlight. So I was trying to get it to where her eye was closed, but it looked like she's looking up. That's why there's that line there. Didn't work very well, and I was trying to get her to look up at the stars, and it'd be like you were looking like at an angle, like from, like, you know, like uh, an angle to her chin or something. It didn't work either. Um, my OCs and like or the ones that are most prevalent that I actually use: Skyla, Maylee, um, Adriana, Nevea. She's in one of my Wattpad stories. Shay and Venus again. More of the same stuff more figuring out the world the characters from that same story um i literally had never watched a video on how to draw guys because i like only draw girls so you know that's why that happened that one's like kind of okay i erased him because he was so bad <laughs> okay more of like the characters i never finished that i was doing <laughs> i literally was so obsessed with this um like character profiles I really dislike this one, but also all of them. This is like pretty okay, which is rare because I did that on the bus. And then that's like okay for concept art. I really dislike all three of those. And then again, like I didn't know how to draw guys. So for me, this is good. And like the same, and the same. I was trying to experiment here with uh, different backgrounds. So I did like triangles, um, flowers, which this one is so good for me because I really can't draw flowers. Um, girl with like pearls in her hair or beads or something. Um, please ignore the cat. Like the heartbeat, like line thing. Um, and then somebody who's flying apparently. More like flowers. I have a character named Shay. And I keep trying to figure out, like, her storyline. Because I really want to write, like, a mystery novel. And I keep coming up with several different ones. But none of them are 
sticking so I had the idea of maybe like somebody I forget what they're called um not like bellboys but if you live in like an apartment they like open the door and they're there to greet you basically of like an old man who does that being your friend some random girl named Macy I don't know who she is I just wanted to draw more more random characters um that one's kind of cool more like expressions with Venus of course this was my favorite drawing for a while. Um, it's supposed to be a self-portrait and then, you know, of course, have very positive things in the background, of course. Um, but now I'm looking at it and I'm like, ah, oh, the nose is too short, it's too far left. But it's fine. I redrew it later, too. And it looked really different. And then because I painted that one, I started drawing things just so I could paint them. I never painted any of this, but there's a lot of that. Mum Blair and Sunshine, again, from Lovelace. Um, never painted that. <laughs> I got Netflix, and I was, of, like, I went back and I watched a lot of the kids' shows I never got to watch because, you know, I was deprived as a child. So, Ever After High, I really like some of the, like, over-the-top characters and, like, their clothes and their personalities are so blatantly obvious, but it's, like, it's chill. Ignore, like, I really don't like her. That was, I was trying to design one, uh, again, based off of the Queen of Hearts. They already have one, but made a better one. We're gonna ignore that page, that was very bad. So this is Fable Haven, like the book series, if you've heard of it. Um, I really like it, so I wanted to draw, it has such like a diverse character cast. I wanted to draw like some of my favorites. These are like all the people that like didn't make it. Um, so, or maybe didn't make it, I don't know. There's a lot of characters though. Um, yeah, honorable mentions, people that didn't make it. So, yeah, I ended up drawing, like, this twice, and I used different, like, mix, mix matches from, uh, the two drawings to make the digital drawing, which I am still working on. Random sketch from, like, lunch. Um, this starts a series of me trying to draw action poses for Venus for her comic because I couldn't force myself to work on it. Very Beauty and the Beast looking. There's a pavilion. Like, that's all that can be said. Another action scene. This is supposed to be, like, very intimidating, like, canyon walls. And they're saying, like, climb, but... Oh, I could not sound more excited. Um, and then I was trying to draw her looking the same, but with different hairstyles, and it did not work. More Venus. It was supposed to be her holding a map, but I forgot her hands, and I didn't want to draw them in. Um, I did this digitally. My voice is- I'm losing my voice. I did this digitally, um, and I, I really like this drawing, actually. And then her, like, hovering, and that's supposed to be her back, and she's looking this way, but I can never achieve that effect. More random sketching. This is a redraw of something I did two years previous, um, of my sister, but when I did it, I did it with Copics, and I put it on my art account. Um, her- I accidentally messed up the side of her face, so it looked- a lot thinner and then it like messed up the whole thing this is the second fable haven drawing um i love this drawing of kendra and i kept like all of this i was able to digitally finish this one and make it look good and like insert people and stuff so i really should finish that i was me trying to make my characters have halloween this is me trying to start the venus comics um and then realizing i am not talented enough for my own like imagination because i don't know how to draw people who are elderly um more chibi venus stuff like i don't know why her hair is different but anyway this is supposed to be a three marker challenge i was gonna do with my friend um my friend kayla drew the wolf random person and some song lyrics another drawing of venus i painted this one like, it, it looks pretty cool in drawing, and the painting doesn't look so cool. The hairline's a lot, like, so high. It should not be that high. Um, but other than that, like, it doesn't look how Venus looks, because she's supposed to have, like, really big eyes, and, like, I don't know, the mouth in here is just very unique, but I, like, I've never drawn anything like that, so I obviously, I kept it. Um, this is the other character, who was supposed to be, like, eight or nine, so I really didn't like this one, because I, her shoulders are too broad, but, like, it looks okay in the drawing, but again, in the painting, it got messed up, because the blue of her eyes bleached to, like, where the whites of her eyes should have been. This one was a failure. Um, this was another thing, 
that I thought I was gonna paint. This is like a series of like seasons, fall, winter, spring, summer. Um, and it was supposed to be like, just like people of seasons, but it ended up being like, I guess like a healing process. Feel free to interpret any way you want to. Um, an eye page, except there were a lot of mediocre eyes that drew attention away from the good ones. So I starred them. So like that one's good, that one's good. Um, that one's good, that one's good. Only four, wow. This is something, I was looking at like drawing inspiration on Pinterest and Tumblr and somebody did this with the different scenes where I decided to recreate it. Um, and I painted this and put it on my art account. Um, another drawing of Venus, I did with Copics and I painted and did it with uh, colored pencils and the colored pencil one looks so bad. <laughs> I don't think I posted it. Um, ignoring the girl at the top, this is Warren from Fable Haven who I ended up inserting. This is me trying to learn how to draw guys, okay? I had to watch a video. No shame in that, but just um, the girls that I said, sat with in history and stuff. They were asked to draw them. This is the redraw of the one with the word insecure at the top. I don't know. I was trying to. I really liked that one. It's Hearts and Heroes. Um, blue from Hearts and Heroes. If you have, if you don't know what Hearts and Heroes is, it's a fan made game from Markiplier. Um, and I watched an entire four hour stream of him playing it. It's honestly, it's so good. There's, it took two years to make, and it was with a team of people. Um, that all met up because they like Mark. I think that's really cool. It starts off with like, you feel like it's gonna be like a pretty basic plot, but it's such an interesting concept. And then also the way they like put huge plot twists in there, like literally, and it all involved like the entire fandom. It was amazing. So yeah, I'm definitely in love with that still. Um, again, Leah and Gabby from the River Time series. And I did this one digitally and accidentally made, I think it's called her tear duct or like her inner thing here. Look really big. Um, so there's that. This is from a story I was gonna try to start. This character, the idea of somebody who's like schizophrenic or like something ended up merging with another uh, character I had based off of a dream to create my character Vanessa, who's in my story, which is also called Vanessa because I haven't named it yet. And this is all from my secret project, which, I mean, there's no reason to keep it a secret anymore, but I'm just gonna leave you guys on the edge because I might make a video about it. So there's that. That's the entire sketchbook. So I have some songs on the back. But look, I, I made 17 minutes instead of 21, so I'm proud of myself. And hopefully this one will be in the right frame. Um, there was something I was supposed to say at the beginning. Oh yeah, <laughs> that... Uh, the reason you're probably watching this is you came from my art account, My Heart's Art. So if you did, thank you so much. Please, like, subscribe or like or, you know, do what you want. Um, and if you haven't heard of my account, it's M-A-Y-A-H-A-R-T-S-A-R-T. -A -A so, I don't know why that took me so long. I'm very challenged today. Um, but yeah, go check it out if you like my art style. And I'm gonna post more on here soon. Bye!